in the nature I am on my way to go find the Santa Rita waterfalls today they are just below Salento so I'm from Salento we just took a bus Whew, I'm actually out of breath from Salento we just took a bus for really really cheap not even a half a dollar for two people down to Boquilla which is really just down the hill and then you get off at the bridge and you start walking on the left side of the river towards the Finca Santa Rita and there I think we're gonna have to pay to go visit the waterfall and the hike starts there first you walk along the river then you get in the jungle for a little bit and then it opens up quite nice this is the Finca Santa Rita where you go through to pay for the waterfalls hola buenas bien gracias por las cascadas cuantas 10.000 por persona. Venga hoy. Gracias. Bueno. <laughs> bueno ¿Dónde pues, vamos? En esta puerta de la otra está Maca. Esta es la finca. So we're at the finca there. Vamos a coger aquí más adelante a mano derecha por este puntico que es Maca. Por ese sendero vamos a pasar por el lado de la zona de camping. 20 minutos. 20 minutos y por aquí. 5 minutos. 5 más. En y... total son 6.6 kilómetros solo en la finca y son entre 3 a 4 horas. Ok. Así con este estrés. Así. Muchas gracias. Bueno, bueno, vamos bien. <laughs> so we just paid 10.000 Colombian pesos entrance and got this amazing explanation about with the map where to go. So cool. We just came from here. I was like, oh, look at this little here river here. And then I turned to the left. Bum, bum, bum. It's the trail of the tunnels. Buy some snacks on the way. Yeah. Buenas.
<laughs> this was so much fun. I love, 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 love jumping in waterfalls. But I don't think you would imagine that cold water in a country like Colombia. I always imagined Colombia is hot and sunny and warm. But no, the rivers are really cold. They actually come from the Los Nevados Natural National Park, which is glacier water. So it's cold, 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 cold. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I totally just stepped in the mud. And like so often in Colombia, or mostly like so often in the area of Salento, it's starting to rain again just a little dripping at the moment but you never know it may come pretty hard soon i definitely heard some thunders earlier so it may come rain pretty pretty hard it's a little bit muddy today how we're gonna cross this at the bridge there's the we're gonna try to catch the bus I'm not sure how that's gonna work we're probably gonna flag them down and hope they have some space for us in there it's a five-minute bus ride up to Salento and let's hope it's not gonna pour too hard now <laughs> dry bag in Salento because it's time to pack the camera away it's getting really wet so we have to record with the phone because it's still dripping pretty hard but look at this cave that we just found it's so cool changed again the sun's coming out picking out here somewhere and it's getting really warm again <laughs> and actually I want to show you these hills are really really typical for the area of Quindío Salento this is the campground from the Santa Rita farm I reckon you can probably set your tent up wherever you want on this little grass a huge grass field actually they have some barbecue area some toilets I don't know what they're gonna look like I am definitely gonna miss the area of Salento with the green hills water and rivers everywhere a lot of rain not gonna miss that Ooh, and puddles <laughs> um, but yeah I'm definitely gonna miss this area because we're gonna leave soon! Very, very soon. Salento has been a home for me and my boyfriend for the last two months. So we were actually just talking about how those places, when you travel long term, that become um, short, -term, short term homes are the ones that stick with you more than the quick travels. And Salento has definitely, definitely been a really good place for us. And yeah, it has become a home for the last few months. Getting back to the entrance. Almost done and the cows are out now. Hi. I gotta say, this hike is really, really pretty. I really enjoyed it. 
It's very special with the tunnels, two tunnels, and we passed the cave. The first waterfall, Santa Rita waterfall, it's very pretty, pretty, and then it's so cool with the natural swimming pool where you can dive in. Um, all in all, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It took us maybe two hours, max, maximum two hours walking. And you can do a bigger loop, like the guy explained in the beginning. We didn't do that because of the weather and it's getting kind of late and we already don't know how we're going to get back up to Salento if the bus is going to work so easily. I can definitely recommend this hike. It's a beautiful hike. And if you're ever here, do the Santa Rita waterfall hike in Boquilla. It's amazing. We actually got really lucky just the moment we pulled up to the street, the bus came, so there was no time to get the camera ready or anything. Just hop on the bus and get in. And yeah, we're back in Salento, back in town, gonna grab some food now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and support my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Bye. Whoa!